Next time you go to find a font, think about this. If type could speak, what would it say? Think about the voice of the typeface that you need. Interpreting that voice is a learned skill, and there's a lot of nuance. Perversely, what language says and what it means can be two different things. This is a trick borrowed from John Tan um, from a lecture called Language in the Lizard Brain, where John explains that our most uh, basic human emotions are generated deep in the amygdala, in the, the deep lobes of our brain, and that written language can be deceived. So Bensi here is the word hate in Malayan. Um, and now that we know this, there's some conflict, right, between this lovely typeface and what it says. Type's powerful visual effect is often compared to the decoration of language. And as we all know, that can be accessorized. So you can dial the volume up on the voice. You can use imagery to manipulate things and so on. Something else I think about the voice of type is that it's shaped by its context. So with or without remixes and revivals, things change. Here's an example. So Onyx um, came out in the late 1930s, designed by the American type founders, probably to compete with Poster Bedoni, which was very similar. Um, so for a decade before, Poster Bedoni had been fashionable and space-saving and very good for poster work and so on. And so Onyx came out and it had the same flavor, high contrast, which normally equals high class, and very fashionable and so on. And so for the next 50 years, carried on being popular until a wet, dreary, dismal day at the end of the 1980s in Seattle when this happened. <laughs> and so beyond Onyx's control, something affected the voice of Onyx. Not in a big way, but you know, if you listen carefully, you can hear kind of groaning and smashing guitars. It was the interesting thing about time and context and its effect on the voice. Think about the 14th century monks of Europe. I'm sure they had no clue that their beloved, beloved and painstakingly practiced Gothic lettering was going to be used one day in Nazi propaganda, subgenres of tattoo and Snoop Doggy Dog records. It's almost like every time a typeface is used for something new, it changes. It changes a little bit, with or without a remix. I think that affects brands, that affects visual movements. The voice of type is also a very personal thing. Some colleagues at Monotype uh, have released an app called Flip Font for Samsung phones. And uh, with Flip Font, you can buy and download a font, and it changes all of the text on your UI. Right? With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> and so if you know something about Monotype, you might be able to guess what the most popular font is that's purchased. <laughs> so this is it, fat boy. It says something about, I think you kind of, um, let's call it your personal typographic spirit animal um, and your personal preferences for type. If you're curious about this and you haven't already seen the queue at the monotype stand, um, there's a personality quiz today happening at the monotype stand, and depending on the outcome of the personality, you'll get a free t-shirt with a different font that reflects the answer. Over the last year or so, I've had, um, I've had some fun at work getting to play with the voice of type a little bit. Um, whilst working on this project, the library subscription for monotype, um, I have been able to pair image and type We've created 600 of these posters, maybe more at this stage, and it's been really fun to see designers' reactions. It's been really fun to learn about um, how this voice is perceived and how it differs from, let's just say, like the black and white or the, the kind of type specimen aesthetic. This is one example of, um, uh, of how we're using this. So what you're seeing is a private beta of a desktop application for the library subscription um, that you're welcome to try. And uh, in it, we try to mix these little bits of the artwork to amplify the voice, as well as keeping that black and white kind of raw geometry 
available there so that you can make better decisions. Good type has a voice.